When the food tax finally does go away, will it have any impact on reducing senior programming? Councilman, that's you. Yeah. You know, obviously, you all know that I've been trying to stop the food tax for pay raise scheme. There's 137 million dollars, um, and please be polite. I think everyone else is too. I'm getting all these things up here, <laughs> but I'm just asking for that to be polite because this is a discussion. This is really a clear. Uh, decision of where the city is going to be going. The city of Phoenix has millions of dollars to fund all the programs. It has all of it. It only takes five votes to make that determination, that decision of whether or not the priority should be going to funding the public or funding um, themselves. I mean, it's not that complicated. You know, so if you want to continue the food tax for pay raise scheme, you know what direction to go in. If you want to end it, I'm the guy that's going to end that. So if you look at the amount of monies that the food tax brings in every single year, the food tax just needs to go away, quite frankly. We have more than enough money to fund all our programs, more than enough money. And the problem is, is that the public hasn't been told the complete truth when it comes to this. Government has not been telling you the truth. They just haven't. They've been literally prioritizing dollars. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, Barry. Government's not telling you the truth. But they have been prioritizing dollars in other areas rather than yours. So when the food tax first came implemented, when it was first enacted, you were told it was going to go to police and fire. It did not go there. It did not go there. Thank you. Um, you know, I forgot the question. No, you were just yes. <laughs> no actually, you so know, I'm not. Food tax. I know, I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, you know, absolutely not in favor of the food tax as well. However, um, the city manager did assure us that if the food tax went away entirely today, that we would be uh, we would have to lay off 99 police officers, four nine up, one one, close some library hours, look at the senior centers, and that's exactly what the city manager did. If you trust the city manager and his job, because the councilman DeCicio absolutely does, because he voted in favor of the largest pay raise in the history of Phoenix that one individual ever got, the city manager. So I guess he thinks he's doing a good job. But the city manager himself said that he would have to do that. He thinks he can take away 1% um, without har harming services, and I think it's September that's when he's going to bring the new budget to the city council, and then we'll just see then. But actually, I um, would like to see the food tax go away as well, but harming senior centers or, or after-school programs or um, less police officers is not an option. I do think, though, however, and I am sure of it, that by the end of the year, of this year, that you're going to give, we'll all get a chance to take a look at the budget, renegotiate some of those contracts, and maybe you know, find some additional funds to um, increase other services around the city, like parks and pools and senior centers. Again, let me be very clear. The money is there to fund everything, including more police and fire. Here's a City of Phoenix report. It's a, I'll give it to anybody who wants it. Literally says right here, if you did not do the pay raises in this budget alone, that would equate to the hiring of about 350 to 400 new police officers or firefighters this year alone. There is more than enough money in the city budget in order to do the funding of, 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 uh, of all the programs, restra restoration of all the after school programs, all the senior programs, including uh, paying for more police and fire for our streets. There is more than enough money. You're just not being told the complete facts on that. This 99, these 99 uh, police officers or firefighters that they were cut, have you noticed that in the last budget, they always put police and fire first in order to get the public to be able to buy into this? It's just not true. They, you know, when the budget, when they brought the food tax forward, there was not one cut to the print shop, not one cut to PR, not one cut into these other non-essential areas. They were literally through all the police and firefighters, which was just wrong. You don't do that to the public. So if you look at what occurred, uh, we have more than enough money at the city of Phoenix to fund the programs or, and even get rid of the food tax. It's all there. You just gotta get the five votes and you've gotta get the political will to say we're going to take the, we're gonna make the, the public the priority before anybody else. Thank you. 